Her illness had gotten worse, even though she had no idea what was causing it. It was worrying her daughter, but no one knew where it originated from. But then she let the contractors in. They got to work while she sat on the couch coughing, just trying to stay upright. But then she heard a commotion and the men came back down with the answers to everything. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification bell to get inspired by these real life stories every day. Now back to the story. Kathy Wilson was a 41-year-old Shelbyville local who always put her daughter first. And even though she wasn't the most active person, she stayed relatively fit. But nearly a decade ago, Kathy started feeling ill and it never got better. She always chalked it up to all the stress she was going through with work, but her daughter would make sure she got help. Kathy's daughter was tired of her dismissing her condition. She wasn't getting better, but rather getting worse. It all started with just a cough, but now it had escalated to sore bones and fatigue. This worried her daughter beyond belief. But Kathy hadn't budged yet. She still refused to see a doctor. She was looking for any way to feel better. She tried every vitamin available, including B, C, zinc, iron, vitamin E. After taking them for a few weeks, there was no notable improvement. Ashley decided that she was sick and tired of watching her mother suffer, so she decided to take her to the doctor. She got a sick note excusing her from work for a few days, but not much else could be done. Kathy felt the same when she got home from the doctor. The days off were nice, but she still couldn't shake the stress of catching up on the work she missed. But things would gradually get worse as the days went by. Kathy's condition had never gotten worse this quickly before, until her daughter decided to intervene once again. Kathy felt fatigued and stopped eating. She lost weight as Ashley got even more concerned about her health. She decided that her mom would have to get yet another checkup. Kathy was less hesitant this time around and just wanted to feel better. Ashley could see that she was just getting worse, but when the doctor spoke, it wasn't the best news. They got to the doctor's office and they were shocked with Kathy's condition. What they had dismissed as a cold a few weeks earlier had now gotten far worse. They were surprised that a strong young woman with a healthy immune system like Kathy, who should have overcame the flu weeks ago, was still deteriorating. Now they were growing concerned too. Dr. Mary Beth Hensley started to take her condition a little more seriously. She took things to the next level by running blood and allergy tests to hopefully find any disease or intolerance. But the tests came back with the same result. She should have been healthy. They didn't have a diagnosis, but they decided to try an elimination approach, so Kathy was put on several different antibiotics. Hopefully, they would then find out what was really going on. After Kathy was given the medication, they waited to see a reaction. This was their best hope of finding out why Kathy wasn't feeling better. Most importantly, they needed to stop her from getting worse. The medication Dr. Hensley gave her would hopefully give more insight into what was causing her illness, but instead it had the opposite effect. Kathy started to feel worse instead of better. She had body aches and could barely keep her eyes open. Then the mystery illness started to take a toll on her mental health. Her friends and family members started to worry. Was the condition just a state of mind? Kathy couldn't believe that. She knew her body and she knew something was wrong. It was hard for Ashley, who had now taken her mother to the doctor twice with no conclusive results. She just didn't want there to be a third time when she was even worse. What was wrong with her mother? Ashley witnessed her mother's deterioration firsthand. And she also knew in her heart that something just wasn't right. Kathy, determined to get to the bottom of her illness, searched for her symptoms online. She spoke to experts in online chats, and she tried herbal treatments and natural remedies, but nothing seemed to be helping. As time went by, more and more people lost faith in her, and no one could give her answers. She had never felt so alone before. Maybe it really was just all in her head? Kathy visited her doctor regularly over the next 10 years. Dr. Hensley provided Kathy with the best care and tested for everything that she could. She went to great lengths to attempt to diagnose Kathy. She insisted on cardiac testing, chest x-rays, MRIs of the brain, spine, to see if anything was related. But nothing seemed out of the ordinary. I felt we were very thorough but didn't come up with a solution, Dr. Hensley explained. But Kathy was growing sick and tired. Years of the mystery illness had affected Kathy's mental health. It impacted her relationships, work, and most importantly, her quality of life. After 10 years of her flu-like symptoms, she decided that if no one could help her, she would help herself. So she decided to treat herself to a bathroom makeover. She had plans to create a sanctuary by remodeling the entire bathroom. She arranged for contractors to take care of the job, but shortly after they made a shocking discovery. The contractor's forehead crumpled with concern when he asked Kathy when her water heater had been installed. Kathy knew that it had been installed years before she had gotten sick and Ashley must have been a little girl at the time. She thought hard and replied, maybe 10 years ago? The contractors were horrified. 
they have discovered that the furnace and water heater fitted incorrectly were causing trace amounts of carbon monoxide to escape and leak into the house over an extended period of time. But isn't carbon monoxide poisonous? Carbon monoxide is colorless and odorless, invisible to the eye. This makes the gas a silent killer. When the body is exposed to it, the gas displaces oxygen in the blood and this causes serious damage to the heart, brain and vital organs. Even a small exposure to CO can cause chest pains, fatigue, nausea, headaches and vertigo, but prolonged exposure can have serious effects, including vomiting, muscle weakness, fainting and confusion. Some cases of CO poisoning even result in death, but how had she been misdiagnosed again and again? After years of searching for answers from specialists and healthcare professionals, Kathy had lost hope. But now Kathy's decade-long symptoms suddenly all made sense. The most unexpected visitors had finally given her an answer. I was shocked, she exclaimed. Kathy had been suffering for so long from an unexplained illness and it had left her in the physical condition of an old woman. But how could she ever thank them enough? Over the years, it kept getting worse and worse, Ashley explained. When she heard that finally there was proof of her mother's ailment, she was overjoyed. Now Kathy would be able to function like a normal human being again. She couldn't wait for her mother to start being healthy and active again. Ashley cried happy tears. Her mother could finally get her life back on track. After years of her mother being bedbound, they would now be able to do all the things they missed out on, like going shopping or going out for dinner. But could she ever forgive the doctors after all the years of neglect? Kathy hadn't felt this good in years. She got so much more than just a new bathroom with the contractors. She got her life back. She's thrilled to have her body, mind, and spirit healing. I feel great, she said. I haven't been this happy and I can't tell how long. She couldn't believe that her health was improving. After so many years, she'd nearly given up all hope of ever recovering, but things weren't completely over yet. The fact was that all of her pain and torment had been due to negligence in the first place. Whoever installed her heater properly had nearly gotten away with murder, but she was glad it didn't come to that. Kathy's well on her way to recovery after all the years of being exposed to poison, but there still is an element of concern to the story. Kathy wishes that she'd pushed harder for a diagnosis. She'd been called crazy, delusional, and a hypochondriac for a decade because the tests were negative. She was prescribed the usual bed rest, exercise, or pills, but nothing helped. No one could give her the answers, but Kathy was right to trust her instincts. Even though she had to wait for 10 years for an answer, she's grateful. Kathy knew that she would never forget what had happened to her. She'd make sure that everything she learned about her illness would help others who may be suffering like her. She told the doctors to look out for these signs in other patients and hoped that they would spread the word and perhaps also a lesson that everyone could learn. But Kathy doesn't have time to sit in regret. She'd much rather look forward to the many happy years she now has to enjoy with her daughter, but she wanted people to know what she went through so they don't make the same mistake. Kathy looks forward to her newfound energy and her new life, and she hopes that her story will raise awareness about the dangers of carbon monoxide.